Hello everyone, welcome to Business School 101. Active listening is a communication technique in which the listener pays full attention to the speaker, processes the information, and provides feedback or responses that demonstrate understanding and empathy. It is a highly valued interpersonal communication skill. Why is active listening crucial in business communication, and what practical tips and real-world examples can we explore? In this video, I will discuss these questions with you. Section 1. Importance. Active listening is highly important in business for several reasons. First, effective communication. It leads to clear and accurate communication, reducing the chances of misunderstandings and conflicts. Second, builds trust. Active listening helps build trust and rapport with colleagues, clients, and team members, as it shows that you value their thoughts and opinions. Third, problem solving. It aids in problem solving by ensuring you fully understand the issues and concerns, enabling you to find appropriate solutions. Fourth, conflict resolution. Active listening can de-escalate conflicts by allowing individuals to feel heard and understood, which can be the first step in resolving differences. Last, enhances leadership. Leaders who actively listen are often more effective in motivating their teams, making informed decisions, and creating a positive work environment. Section 2. Tips and Examples. Here are 11 active listening exercises you can use to help improve your interpersonal communication skills. Number 1. Paraphrase. Concise summarization of the speaker's message demonstrates your comprehensive grasp of their intended meaning. Additionally, it offers the speaker a chance to elucidate any unclear information or provide more details. For instance, you might say, let me make sure I've got this right. You're indicating that your team's technical requirements are not being met due to its lack of support for large video files, correct? Number 2. Ask open-ended questions. Pose inquiries that reflect your understanding of the information they've conveyed and encourage them to provide further insights. Ensure these questions require more than just a brief yes or no response. For instance, you could ask, I see your point about the need to update the onboarding process. Could you elaborate on the specific alterations you envision for the next half year? Number 3. Ask specific probing questions. Ask specific questions that prompt the reader to elaborate on the information they've presented or focus on a particular aspect of a broad subject. For instance, you might inquire, I'd like to learn more about your current workload. Can you pinpoint which project is currently demanding the most of your time and attention? Number 4. Use short verbal affirmations. Short, positive statements will help the speaker feel more comfortable and show you're engaged and able to process the information they're providing. Small verbal affirmations help you continue the conversation without interrupting the speaker or disrupting their flow. For example, you can say I understand, I see, yes, that makes sense, and I agree. Number 5. Display empathy. Make sure the speaker understands you're able to recognize their emotions and share their feelings. By showing compassion, rather than just feeling it, you're able to connect with the speaker and begin establishing a sense of mutual trust. For example, you can say I'm so sorry you're dealing with this problem. Let's figure out some ways I can help. Number 6. Share similar experiences. Delving into similar scenarios not only affirms your understanding of the speaker's message, but also fosters rapport. When a speaker presents a challenge, sharing your experience and overcoming similar obstacles can provide valuable insights to others. For instance, you could mention, I encountered initial difficulties with this program as well. However, I found that it becomes significantly easier with time. In just a few weeks, I was fully proficient in utilizing all its features. Number 7. Recall previously shared information. Try to remember key concepts, ideas or other critical points the speaker has shared with you in the past. This demonstrates you're not only listening to what they're saying currently, but you're able to retain information and recall specific details. For example, you can say last week you mentioned adding a more senior coordinator to help with this account, and I think that's a great idea. Number 8. Defer judgment. Please keep in mind that interrupting is a waste of time. It will frustrate the speaker and limit full understanding of the message. So please allow the speaker to finish and don't interrupt with counter-arguments. Number 9. Nod and smile. Nodding and smiling as the speaker talks demonstrates your understanding without implying agreement. This can ease tension and foster a comfortable atmosphere for the speaker. Number 10. Avoid distracting movements. Avoid voluntary movements like glancing at your watch or phone, audibly sighing, doodling or tapping a pen. 
You should also avoid exchanging verbal or non-verbal communications with others listening to the speaker. Number 11. Maintain eye contact. Whenever possible, keep your eyes on the speaker and avoid looking at other people or objects in the room. Just be sure to keep your gaze natural, using nods and smiles to ensure you're encouraging them, rather than making the speaker feel intimidated or uneasy. Section 3. Summary. To sum up, active listening is a crucial communication skill that is essential in various aspects of business, including management, sales, negotiation, and leadership. It involves not just hearing words, but fully engaging with the speaker, understanding their message, and demonstrating your comprehension and interest. All right, that's all for today's topic. If you have any questions regarding this video, please leave your thoughts in a comment below. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video, and if you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.